breaking. Welcome to today's headline. Like Boko Haram and bandits, IPOP members are terrorists. Kaduna Governor Hello Rufai. Like Boko Haram and bandits, IPOP members are terrorists. Kaduna Governor Hello Rufai. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, I greet you and I welcome you to today's news. According to El Rufai, the best way to deal with the people who terrorize the Nigerians is to kill them. The governor of Kaduna State, Nasir El Rufai, has said he does not believe in rehabilitating terrorists. According to El Rufai, the best way to deal with the people terrorizing Nigerians is to kill them. Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rufai, the governor, made his position known known on Tuesday while briefing State House correspondent after meeting with President Muhammad Bari. He added that there are three types of terrorists in the country, the Boko Haram, insurgents, the bandits, and members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOV. The governor said the recent declaration of bandits as terrorists has given the military more power to wage war against them. He said, There is nothing like repentant terrorists. The only repentant bandit is the one that is dead. Our intention in the state is to kill them, terrorists, let them go and see God. El Rufai said the whereabouts of the bandit are not hidden, but that the military is wary of the collateral damage it could cause civilian communities. According to El Rufai, the best way to deal with the people terrorizing Nigerians is to kill them. The governor of Kaduna State, Nasir El Rufai, has said, he said, has said he does not believe in rehabilitating terrorists. According to El Rufai, the best way to deal with the people terrorizing Nigerians is to kill them. Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rufai the governor made his position known on Tuesday while briefing State House correspondent after, meet, after meeting with President Muhammad Dubari. He added that there are three types of terrorists in the country the Boko Haram, the Boko Haram insurgents, the bandits, and members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. The governor said the recent declaration of the bandit as terrorists has given the military more power to wage war against them. He said, There is nothing like repentant terrorists. The only repentant bandit is the one that is dead. Our intention in the state is to kill them, let them go and see God. El Rufai said, The whereabouts of the bandits are not hidden, but the military is wary of the collateral damage it could cause some civilian communities. According to verify the best way to deal with the people terrorizing Nigerians is to kill them. The governor of Kaduna State, Nasir Erufai, has said he does not believe in rehabilitating terrorists. According to Erufai, the best way to deal with the people terrorizing Nigerians is to kill them. Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rufai, the governor, made his position known, known on Tuesday while briefing State House correspondent after meeting with President Muhammad Dubari. He added that there are, there are three types of terrorists in the country the Boko Haram insurgents, the bandits, and members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. The governor said, the recent declaration of bandits as terrorists has given the military more power to wage war against them. He said, there is nothing like repentant terrorists. The only repentant bandit is the one that is dead. Our intention in the state is to kill them. Let them go and see God. Erufai said the whereabouts of the bandits are not hidden, but that the military is wary of the collateral damage it could cause civilian communities. To our dear listeners, 
now we've come to the end of our today's news let's move to the comment section and let's see what people are saying the first comment which i which i have here says terrorist government will always tag those criticizing the government as terrorists you are very correct sir and i fully agree with you on this this is a message from um abubak abbas the house man and another person shehu naberu you are right for killing innocent people they too deserve killing actually i'm not surprised these people um, are, are especially referring to ipop members is ipop members terrorists what have they done to to deserve them being tagged as a terrorist you see um this country mis uh, mis priority is our is our problem mis priority is our, is our is a misplaced priority sorry is our problem when we see the dead we know that this is the dead but we see the truth we, we should know this is the truth are we saying the federal government do not know who the Boko Haram is are we saying they don't know the full line admins that are that are causing the atrocities in the state who is sponsoring the Fulani others? Who is sponsoring them? The weapons, the sophisticated weapons they are using. Who is sponsoring them? If it is not the people at the higher places, they are not using local guns, which I can easily say they are hunters, which um um maybe um this thing build it for them. They are using a well sophisticated a well sophisticated equipped weapon to attack people in their villages, in their farms. Who is, who, is, who, is, who is sponsoring Boko Haram? They are not living amid stores, not all of them, but the one living in the forest, who is sponsoring them their food, who is sponsoring them clothes, where are they getting it from? There is no how you move in troops to the market to get army uniform. And they won't suspect these are Boko Haram. Definitely some people are sponsoring them the clothes. Some people are sponsoring them the money they are using. Some are sponsoring them the sophisticated well equipped weapon they are using so who are the terrorists when they when they when they arrest the Boko Haram people when the soldier people arrest the Boko Haram they will tell them they have repent they will give them money and they will tell the public that they have repent but they were when then when they arrest um IPO people they will tag them they will lock them up they will jail them even without trial which i feel this is discrimination is it because Boko Haram's and Fulanis are of the same region with the Nigerian president. So why should they even do that at all? We don't deserve we don't deserve the kind of life 